Praise the Lord. Let's rise up and we'll pray together. Rise on your feet. Commit yourself to the Lord in prayer. That the Lord will help you to endure to the very edge. Easy to start. Easy to begin. But then to plug on and to stretch on, run on without thinking or looking back. Enduring till the very end. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord that the Lord will so help you that you'll not give up in the middle of the journey. You're on the race to the very end. The strength to do that, the grace to do that, the power to do that. The resistance to do that and the obedience to the Lord to do that, that the Lord will grant it unto you that this race you are running, you're on it to the very, very end. Talk to the Lord in prayer that the Lord Himself will help you in this race and this journey. Heaven is the goal. It will have your mind fixed. Your heart fixed. Fixed on God. Your mind set on things above. That things of this world will not draw you back, pull you back, tie you down. Your thoughts, your mind, your action, your behavior, your decision, your consecration, your commitment, your surrender, your submission will go on to the very, very end. No looking back, no going back, no sliding back. An endurance race to the very end. In Jesus' name we pray. And the persevering people of God said, Heavenly Father, we thank you, bless your name, because we know you have enough grace, sufficient grace to carry us through. We have started the journey. We have laid our hands on the plow. We are not going to look back. We are praying, O oh Lord, the strength to continue. The decision to continue, the ability to continue, give to everyone in Jesus' name. We have stepped on this highway to the promised land. Nothing will turn us back. Nothing will change our mind. Whatever trial, temptation, trouble, whatever trauma may come, we know you are able to see us through. We're going through and we're going to go through in Jesus' name. Help your people today. That Lord will so plant our feet on the solid rock. And no storm, no waves will be able to change our decision. We'll go through to the very end. We'll rest on you and depend upon your grace. And we know you are going to lead us through to the very end in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. We can sit down. God bless every one of us. In Matthew chapter 10, we're looking at verse 22. Matthew chapter 10, looking at verse 22. Here the Lord himself said, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Here the word of God tells us from the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Matthew records that for us. And he says, yes, we're looking up to the Lord. Yes, we're saved. Yes, we're now in the kingdom. 
yes he has saved us and sanctified us and set us apart and we have surrendered our lives to the lord he has even sanctified us and baptized us in holy ghost and now he says that's not the end that's just the beginning of the journey he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved which is telling us then that as you have laid your plan your hand on the plow you will not look back i said you will not look back and every one of us we are going to endure to the end in jesus name mark chapter 13 verse 13 you'll never forget this 13 13 it's mark mark chapter 13 verse 13 and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved once again what Matthew had said Mark is also saying and emphasizing Luke chapter 9 in Luke chapter 9 here the Lord himself is saying it but he says it another way Luke chapter 9 verse 62 and Jesus said unto him no man have been put his sand to the plow and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God it says looking back is dangerous turning back is dangerous drawing back is deadly it says when you put your hand on the plow he wants us to continue and continue and continue till the very end we're looking at john chapter 8 john chapter 8 we're looking at verse 31 they said jesus of those jews which believed on him if ye continue in my word then are ye my disciples indeed to continue until the end that's the secret of getting to heaven it's not just to say i'm saved i'm sanctified i'm laying my hand on the plow i'm believing on the lord yes that's good but that's just the beginning he wants us to continue to the very end revelation chapter 2 revelation chapter 2 we're looking at verse 4, 25 and verse 26 but that which ye have which ye have already hold fast till i come isn't that also about the end till i come that's the very end it says what you have hold it fast you know in these changing times there are people that will try to change and turn things around they believe in repentance before but no more they believe the righteousness before but no more they believe the restitution before but no more but jesus said that which he have already hold fast until i come gone were the days for them when they believed in sanctification holiness without holiness no man shall see the lord but they have dropped that they're now for just merriment and healing and deliverance and prosperity and other things like that. But the Lord is saying, that which has given unto you, that sanctification, that holiness, and the marriage, one man, one wife, until death do us part, and that a believer will not marry an unbeliever. Hold it fast until I come. The humility, the submission, the giving yourself unto the lord laying everything upon the altar and then fighting against worldliness that you're not allowed those things of the world to be upon your life to be upon your wife to be upon your daughters and son it says that which you have already you hold fast until i come and then all the messages on, on evangelism, the messages on depending upon the Lord until he sees us through. That we are not begging people because he says we shall not borrow. He'll make us to be the head and not the tail. He'll provide for our need. We're not depending upon people to sustain us. We're depending upon the Lord. And we're not making a man an idol, a woman an idol. 
we're depending upon God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind. We're loving the Lord and trusting the Lord. It says that faith you have in God, that He is your all in all, and He is your Redeemer. He is your Savior, He is your Lord, He is your Deliverer, and He is your Sanctifier, He is your Sufficiency, He is your Supplier, He is your Shepherd, He is your Saint Bearer, and He is your Substitute. That which you got already, you hold fast until He comes. I will not allow anything to blow you off and get you off, and then you come into another kind of watered down gospel. Even if people hate you, because of what you stand for even if they hate you because of the life you live that which you have already hold it fast until i come in verse 26 and he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the age he that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end he says it is those people to him I will give power over the nations. I pray you'll be among us. I said you'll be among us. And then you'll reign forever and ever in Jesus' name. Revelation chapter 22. I'm reading from verse 18. Revelation chapter 22. Verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Every man, in every generation, in every denomination, I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book. Then it says, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, you know, there are people that try to do that. They take it away. Oh, they say, you know, the present generation will not bear, will not accept, will not live by the standard of the word of God. And if you're keeping to all those words from Genesis to Revelation, that your church will not grow. And because they want the church to grow, they want a crowd, a crowd for the world and not a crowd for heaven. They say because of that, tone down, slow down, take it off, and don't preach everything anymore. And the Lord is saying to such people, He says, if any man in any generation, any man in any denomination, if any man shall take away, from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. I've read to you from Matthew, from Mark, from Luke, from John, and then from Revelation, telling you and opening it up to you that the Lord wants us to run the race till the end and endurance race to the end we're going to endure till the end and we're going to keep the word of god until the end in jesus name we don't know when jesus will come he might come today and if he comes today i pray all of us will be ready in jesus name he may not come today you know he may not come tomorrow he may not come this year he may not come in another year he may not come in another 20 years 30 years we don't know we don't know but the point is this what if he delays his coming and what if your pastor your general superintendent goes away before he comes and then another leader another pastor another superintendent another overseer takes over you know that overseer might say Kumui's time is gone the former GS part of deeper life is gone I am the one here now and so now we're going to change everything we're not going to believe this anymore and this anymore and this anymore and that anymore the Lord is telling us such a person his name will be out of the book of life his name will be out of the blessings that are written in the book whenever jesus is coming hold fast everything you know everything you have learned the whole word of god without diminishing and without any addition just the word 
whether people increase or whether they decrease whether people flock in they flow in or they draw back here is the word of the lord we're going to hold on until he comes if the lord has helped us for five years 10 years 20 years 30 years 35 years it will help us till the end of the race i said it will help us till the end of the race and then it will be an enduring race to the very end we're looking at this message on the three subtitles number one warning and encouragement for christian pilgrims warning and encouragement for christian pilgrims number two willfulness and exclusion of corrupted people the willfulness and the exclusion of corrupted people number three watchfulness and endurance through constant perseverance you'll be among the people that are watching and you're going to endure to the end in, in jesus name let's look at first corinthians chapter 10. first corinthians chapter uh, chapter 10 i'm reading from verse 11 now all these things happen unto them for examples and they are reaching for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall therefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall you know there are some people that are overconfident like peter when the lord was saying you will betray me you will say you never knew me you will draw back you will forget me the living watch you'll forget me the living waters you'll forget me the one that came from heaven to draw you into the kingdom and he said never 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 why don't you pray why don't you watch the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak oh he said not necessary and he slept and eventually you know the end of the story watch we find all these people in Bible days, they started, they couldn't finish. And the word of God says in Romans chapter 15, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were reaching a full time, were reaching for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. It says all the things that were reaching about the children of Israel, many of them started they couldn't finish it's a warning for you a warning for me and it is an encouragement to you that caleb continued until the end joshua continued until the end and if god helps those people it will help you it will help me in jesus name hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 hebrews chapter 10 we're looking at verse 35 it says cast not away therefore your confidence which has great recompense of reward your confidence in the lord don't cast that away your faith in the lord don't cast that away your steadfastness in the lord don't cast that away and your faithfulness don't cast that away and your tenacity tenacity holding on and saying whatever comes and whatever goes whatever happens and whatever does not happen i'm going to hold on to the very end that confidence